Hi friends and welcome back. If you are visiting with me for the first time, my name is Pastor Ruth and I come to YouTube twice each week. I'm here every Sunday with a worship service for the entire church family and I also get to come here every Wednesday with a message for the children of our church. And throughout this summer of 2022, I am doing a series about walking with Jesus. And I have been doing a few different ones with some friends of mine. I was out in the woods and we talked about Jesus's invitation to follow him. And I also went out to the beach and walked with another friend where we talked about how Jesus would uh, in tell the fishermen, I will help you fish for people. And then I went with another friend and we walked to, to raise money to help other people. And I go walking quite a lot. I really enjoy walking, which is one of the reasons I was doing this particular series. But you know, sometimes, sometimes I want just to walk by myself. I love walking with my friends. I get to do that a lot because I have a lot of friends who like to walk and I enjoy every minute of it. But you know, sometimes, sometimes I just kind of want to be by myself because I've been with a lot of people all day and I've been in a lot of meetings or I've been uh, in, in church with a lot of people and sometimes it's like, you know, I love that and I love all those people, but I just need a little bit of break, a little bit of time by myself to just renew, to fill myself up. And everybody's different, but I think we all need a little bit of alone time every once in a while. And so today I've been in a lot of meetings and I have talked with a lot of people and I love them all, but I've decided I'm gonna go for a walk now. I don't go for walks in the woods by myself because that doesn't feel like a safe thing for me to do. Um, so I'm just gonna walk around my neighborhood. Um, that's why you hear and see lots of cars. I'm going to cross the street because I live on a busy street. I'm gonna cross the street and go to the neighborhood behind me because it is a really quiet neighborhood and it is a quiet place to walk and it's a safe place to, for me to walk. And I'm gonna just take some time and maybe I'll see neighbors, maybe I won't, but I'm gonna just relax and walk and enjoy my walk. And you know, it's okay to sometimes just sort of wanna be by yourself, to take a little bit of a break. Jesus even did that. You know, he did that a number of times that we hear about in the Bible, especially when he'd been with a lot of people. Like right after, he had fed the 5,000 people. We read that he went off to a quiet place by himself to pray. And then another time when he had a good friend of his, somebody he loved uh, named John had died and he was really sad and he just wanted a little bit of time to himself. And so he went off for, you know, when he was worried, when he was concerned because he knew something he was something bad was going to happen and he went off and he prayed by himself and it's okay to say you know either I'm feeling sad or I'm feeling tired or I'm feeling like I've just been with too many people and I'm gonna go by myself and we want to always be safe I don't want you to going off into the woods by yourself I don't want you going off anywhere without people knowing where you are I make sure people know where I am if I'm going hiking and, and I stay, but you can, you know, you don't even have to go outside to be by yourself. You can just go into your room and just take a little time, maybe listen to music if you like it, or color, or read, or whatever it is that helps you feel more comfortable, more relaxed, more filled up and renewed. And sometimes being by ourselves can just do that. And so this week I'm going to follow Jesus' example. And I'm going to just go off to a quiet place in a quiet neighborhood and walk by myself and get renewed by it. But before I go, would you pray with me? Loving God, we thank you that you are with us always. And we thank you for all the friends and family and people that love us. But we also thank you that there are times when we can be 
by ourselves, just with you, and we can rest and renew and relax and get filled up again. Amen. So, thank you all for joining me here this week. I hope you have a wonderful week. I've missed seeing you. I love when I get to see you in church. And remember, above all else, God loves you more than you can ever imagine. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.